Right. Hi. Um, we've been putting together a, a few videos um, to help people learn a little bit about providing primary eye care services to remote regions in Africa or other third world countries. And uh, we've been doing a little bit of um, studies on refraction, how to refract, do subjective refraction, very simple subjective refraction. Um, but once you've learned how to do refraction, we, you, you then have to make the glasses. So this is a video that um, will help us to understand how to make glasses. And because we're working in these sort of very remote areas, um, we tend to use or we will be using equipment that is very simple, very basic, very affordable and very portable. There's no point taking sophisticated, expensive equipment to some of these very remote areas that we go to because they just will not survive in that environment. So we want to keep it all as simple as possible and that is what we're going to be doing and I'm going to show you the stages involved in actually making a pair of glasses. This is the equipment that I've chosen for this video and uh, it fulfills all the criteria that we need for working in these very remote areas. We have a battery operated facimeter. The facimeter measures the focal length of a lens which then determines the power of the lens. So you need one of those and it's a battery operated one for obvious reasons. This is a lens blocker which you can manage without but they are very very useful because it enables you to be a lot more accurate and a lot quicker in actually um, blocking the lenses which is a part of the process of making the glasses. So this is a lens blocker. This is a pattern maker and this creates a pattern or a shape or a former that corresponds to the frame that we'll, we will be glazing. So that uses a little plate like this. The plate goes on here the, sh the lens goes in there and we, we do use second-hand glasses, we, use, uh, we, we recycle old glasses, so we have a frame here that's been given to us and we will, what we will do is we'll take the lens out of here, block it up on here, put the lens in here and then this machine will then cut this plate to match this shape. So once that is done and we've got the shape of the lens in this format, we then put this onto the lens cutting machine which is this one. These two look very similar but this cuts the shape and this cuts the lens itself. So we put the former into here and then we put the lens that we want to cut into this side of the machine here. This is the whole process is a is a dry process there's no water involved most uh, glazing equipments involve water but this is a, a dry process it uses a mill to actually cut the lenses and it works well with CR39 which is the normal material for plastic lenses and I think it would also work with high index. Um, I don't think it would work with polycarbonate. So um, once they, we put the former in there, we put the lens in there which has already been blocked up on here. This machine will then flat edge the lens. The best frames to use in these sorts of places that we go to are the ones that have a nylon cord that holds the lens in. They are much easier to glaze than a, a full frame which requires a bevel. The bevel is a far more difficult thing to achieve on a lens to do it properly and you need more sophisticated equipment. But if we keep it nice and simple then and we use these frames then we can really keep the equipment nice and basic and uh, that's, that's what I would recommend, that we always use frames of, that use this nylon method, this nylon cord method of fitting the lens into the frame. So once we've flat edged the lens on this one, we then take the lens and we put it onto this machine here and that the lens gets put inside this, this clamp. So you, you put the lens in here and then you put it over this mechanism here which then puts the groove in the, the lens. So you've got a flat edge lens which is then grooved using this, um, this part of the, the machine here. And uh, once that has been done and it does it very quickly, this machine is really quick, you take it off of there, you just move the machine over to this side and put the lens onto this wheel which very quickly puts a safety bevel onto the lens so it makes it a, a safer pair of glasses to wear. 
And then once that is done, the process is finished and you just take the lens off and, uh, and put it into the frame and you have a pair of glasses. So I will go through each phase, um, each stage of the process uh, individually so that you can understand how the whole thing works. Right, um, stage one is, involves the facimeter and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this lens to create the shape so we're going to have to block this lens up. So we're going to mark the lens up so that um, we can center it properly on the blocking machine. So we place the lens onto this platform in the facimeter and we clamp it down. We then use this device to put three dots onto the lens. So we now have these three dots on the lens which, is, which are roughly midpoint between the top and the bottom. We then need to take the lens out and to do that because it's the nylon type of frame, it's called a super frame which uses a nylon cord, we have to thread the nylon, we create a little gap like that and uh, we pull the nylon through so it's now sliding underneath the nylon cord on the lens and then we just take the lens out like that. So we now have the lens out and we're going to use that to cut the lenses that we're going to make. So in order to, to do that we need to put this on the blocking machine and before we do that I have to draw some lines on this. Um, right, we're going to now put the lens onto a, a ruler and uh, we've got those three dots that we put on when it, the frame was on the facimeter and we just need to center everything up. Um, these pens are really important so you'll need to have a good permanent felt pen to do this job and once you're happy that it's sort of in the center you can then draw these dots like this and uh, just mark the, the up and down lines, the vertical lines and the horizontal lines. So you've got this um, cross on the lens. We then need to join that up and that will give us the vertical line. Let's just double check that we've got that in the middle. It looks a little bit out so I'm just going to redo that slightly. What we want to do is to mark the center of the lens. That's, that's what we're trying to achieve. So we end up with the lens with a cross going right through it. We're now going to use the lens blocker. So we're going to turn this on. And if you look into this window, this is where you can then position the lens on the platform above. When we're happy with that being in the right place, which is like that. We then need the block. This is the block and we need a pad. So we're going to put the block on the pad or the pad on the block and take the backing off and then this fits into here. So that goes in there. It's quite tight on this machine so I'll just leave it like that. We then you can hold the lens down using using these but the lens isn't quite big enough to do that so what we need to do now is to just lower that onto the lens and make sure that it's nice and stuck on the onto the um, the block itself so there we have the lens is blocked out now what we're going to do with that is we're going to create a pattern that we're going to use for cutting the lenses later. So we're now going to um, create the the shape and what I like to do is to put a little N just that N is for nasal which shows you the the direction that the nose is, is on this particular lens. This is a right lens so you've got the nose is, is here and then we put this into this machine and uh, we just pop that in there like that and tighten it up. We then put the 10 plate 
and remember we can put the N on this side because we've got to make sure that we get the lenses both facing the same way and we take um, take that off there and we can put this then fits on there so that just pushes on it's quite a tight fit but it will go on there nicely that's it so we now have the the template in place so the lens is going to then fall down onto this and the template will fall down onto the cutting machine so we're going to turn this on first you always turn it on first and you can just let it do its thing that's great when it's finished you turn it off before you lift it up and you can then lift that up and you've got your shape that you need to cut the lens what you'll need to do is to get a file and just um, smooth it down a little bit but that is um, that's pretty good so we'll put that down there this is the actual original lens and we should find that they are the same shape you can see that that corresponds quite nicely you can then just smooth it down with a file so th this is another very important tool uh, necessary for this process and uh, that just gives you a nice smooth edge and uh, it'll work better then on that machine when it's done